everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you this beautiful religious card. And you can see it uses a foil doily up here in the corner and then it has the gorgeous gold ribbon. And it's a corner fold card so it actually folds down and then it shows a little bit of the inside panel through to the outside. I love that about corner fold cards. And then I'm leaving it blank on the inside because I haven't decided if I want to use it for a graduation card or maybe a baptism card. So I'll let the future decide that. But for now, I thought I would share with you how to create this card. I'm using the stamp set called Blessed by God. And the corner fold card that I mentioned before, I actually had done one earlier this week. And it was this card using one of our 2016 celebration sets. So I'll put the link below so that you can go and check out the how-tos on this card as well. So to go over how to make a corner fold card, and I did cover this quite extensively on my last video, but I'm just going to re-show you with the long card here. What you'll need to start with is a trimmer, and I have the Stampin' Up! trimmer here, and I'm just going to extend out the arm, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four and one fourth by 11 inch card that I've scored at five and one fourth and I'm just going to set it right into the cutter so that the right side is flush with where the blade comes down. And then I'm going to look at where the edge of my paper lands and I want to move it three inches to the right. So if this set lands at 11, I'm going to move it three inches to the right so we're going to bring it down to eight. And then we are going to do our cutting. So we take our blade, bring it down to the three inch mark and press down and then we'll bring it up to the half inch mark. Then we're going to turn our paper 90 degrees, take it to the three inch mark, bring our blade down to the three inch mark and then just go up to the half inch mark. And that's all there is to it. You have just created the cut that you need to make your corner fold card. Now the same cut can be made with a five and a half by eight and a half inch card as well and and you just do the exact same thing so if you were doing a card a tall card you would take your right side bring it flush with where the cutter blade comes down look at your left side and you're going to want to move it three inches to the right so that means we're just going to take it down to five and a half inches and you're going to do the exact same thing so you just take your your blade mark the three inch mark bring it up to the half inch mark turn your paper 90 degrees take it to three inches take your blade down to three inches bring it up to a half inch and again you've created your corner fold now to make that corner fold into a card you'll need to fold this flap back so there's a couple of ways you can do that you can um, just use your fingers so you would just take your thumbnail and maybe as you're as you're pulling this towards you you just kind of crease along here this edge with your thumbnail and then that that will get it started so that you can just go ahead and finish it out. I like to take a bone folder and just make sure that these these uh, lines are nice and crisp or if you're not comfortable doing it that way you can just take a ruler insert it into the fold bring the ruler flush up with the fold and then just make some uh, crease marks with your bone folder and that kind of starts it for you and then it's very easy just to fold it back onto itself and you have a very nicely folded card. Now this looks like it got a little bit crooked so um, if that happens just kind of push it along. It's funny because I've never had that happen so leave it to making a video where it kind of comes out crooked. But I think I've got it right there. That looks good. Alright, so let's get back to the card we're making for this video, which is our religious card. So now there's very little that really needs to be done because it's such a quick and simple card. So I have a piece of Whisper White. I've cut it at 4 by 5 and 1 fourth inches. And then on the other side, I've gone ahead and I've put down a piece of designer series paper. This is from our 12 by 12 neutrals paper pack and it's a half inch by five and a quarter and then all I'm going to do is take some snail run that along the top and then I can just set this right in here on the inside panel 
Now with a corner fold card, you want to be sure that you have some kind of a contrasting color in your background because that really shows off the corner fold card for you. To make your corner stay tight down, I'm just going to fold this back out. I'm going to take one of my dimensionals and just tuck that up there in the corner. Take off the peely, flip it back down, and then you're good. You want to be sure that you keep it tied up into the corner, otherwise it could possibly show through on this side. The next step is to go ahead and add some decorative paper to the front. So this is a 2 and 7 eighths inch square. And I'm just going to, again, take a little bit of snail on the back side. And this will be about a 1 8 inch edge, and so I want to... Just take a little bit of extra time here to make sure all my borders are even before I press that down. Then we have our little square that we're going to put right here. This is two and one fourth inches. And I've gone ahead and I've just stamped it because I used um, crumb cake ink and it was just so easy, just a quick little cross there. So again, that is from this stamp set called Blessed by God. And I'm just going to, again, take a little bit of snail, and we're just going to uh, set this right here. And you know what? I just realized, as I'm putting this on, that I forgot to add my darling little accent, which is this beautiful foil doily. So what I'm going to do, because it will be pretty easy to put it in here, I'm just going to lift up this corner and set it in. So let me put a little snail on my doily, and we're just going to set this in right here. Pull this up a little bit more. We're kind of lucky we can do this. If I'd have used glue, I don't think I would have been able to pull it up. So what you want to do is you want to have your doily so that it looks just like this with a, with a nice, beautiful... Um, edging all the way around. It looks very lacy that way. And then we'll just go ahead and press that into place. I can't believe I almost forgot that. That's like one of my favorite parts of this whole card. So there we go. We have this all done. And now all we need to do is add some ribbon along this side and we'll have it completely done. So I have some gold satin ribbon and I'm just going to tie this around. So I'm just going to tie it right off the loop. So this is how I do it off the loop. I just bring it around the card and I just tie it on. Just like so. Then we can just take a scissors and we'll just trim up these edges so we have a really pretty bow. So here is what our finished card looks like, and then here is the card I had done in advance. So thank you very much for stopping by today. I truly appreciate you. If you need a demonstrator, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com where I have links where you can place product orders. Have a great day. Bye-bye.